Hi, year nine. Uh, just thought I would talk you through a little video for your next task for your art. Um, you've got to do a jellyfish. Um, there's various materials you can use. I'm going to talk you through how I created mine um, and give you some ideas. So we've started off, I've, I've lightly sketched it out. I've lightly sketched out the main shape of the head of the jellyfish and I have decided to block in some background colours quite lightly. Um, using watercolours. I've used watercolours for the background. Um, when I've done that, you can start to see now I'm starting to add some of the details in using darker paint. Um, so I'm looking at the top of the jellyfish, the head of the jellyfish here, and I'm starting to use different colours, blending them together and adding in some finer details. Looking at the tentacles now of the jellyfish, I'm starting to um, mix a variety of different paints and um, different colours of blues and some kind of um, rusty shades and filling them in um, and though it's working well but what I've decided to do if you have a look at the sheet there's kind of some some dark in behind so I've started to use some colour and pencils to fill that in um, I just thought it might um, be easier at this moment rather than um, using watercolours again I wanted to kind of mix up mix up my materials a little bit so I'm blending different colours. I've not just got the one blue, I've got blue, got black, got greys. And, you know, looking back into the top of the jellyfish as well, I'm starting to add in some extra details using colour and pencils as well. Um, other materials, I'm starting to have a play about. What I tend to do is get my desk and I put all my resources out on it. I get some fine liners and some colouring pens and paints, um, some fine liners, um, said that biros everything i've kind of got felt felt pens and i just sort of have a play around and i lift little bits and pieces and see what i think might work work where this is kind of a mixed media piece so i'm having a go at different little things so you can see here i'm starting to add fine liner um and i'm trying to block in a little bit more of the pattern and use some felt pens i'm just having a play about it and i've lifted um a fine liner there to kind of outline some of those circles those tentacles to make those stand out a little bit Again, layering up my colours. So I've gone to put some blue dots there. I had to make sure my grey was dry underneath. If you kind of make sure your layers are dry before you add your paints on top of one another. And then I'm starting to add in some white details. Um, if you have a look at the shape, white's quite important in this image. Um, so playing about with that. But what I, need, I feel like I need to do afterwards is kind of blend it out a little bit. So if you can see in a little bit, I'm going to start to add some um, pencil crayon. Just to give you an idea, guys, I haven't finished the picture. Um, I, I might do um, and get back to you with a finished piece, maybe on Instagram. But this might give you a little bit of a, a clue and a little bit of an idea how to get started. I hope it helps. Good luck. Can't wait to see all your work on Instagram.